baby. You make yours too thick. <laughs> there, that's good. Okay, I just made the perfect one. No, I am not even kidding, okay? All right, so what we're trying to do is draw a crescent moon, and we're just doing some practice draws right now, and it's looking a bit ridiculous. <laughs> this is why we practice this stuff before we put it on the nice door. Okay, these are all <laughs> of our drawings. This is the first one. <laughs> this is the first one that Spencer did. Okay, and the rest of them just kind of look like bananas. And then I just drew that one. Please tell me that one's not just like the best moon you've ever it's seen. It's tiny. Well, of course it's tiny. Look, it's just a, look, that's a full size moon and it's perfect. It looks like we're putting a giant C on the door. Baby, you're making it too thick. You said it was too skinny just a minute ago. Well, I want it in between. <laughs> look at that. That is a perfect crescent moon. That is pretty good. Now wait, I don't know. I think it's too far this way. Oh my God. <laughs> no, for real, isn't it? No, it's cool. So just whenever we go to put our wreath up during the holiday, we just have to have it a little to the left. Yeah, it hangs, no! a, little, it hangs a little to the left. <laughs> so the whole reason that we're doing this crescent moon is because whenever we originally designed the pump house, we wanted it to look like a little outhouse. So that's why we're drawing this on there. I am so scared for him to start sawing this thing out. Spencer, that's perfect. I didn't doubt you for a second. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really good. The door turned out awesome. It is looking so good. All that we have to do now before we can go ahead and hang the door is we're gonna install this little bit of screen on the backside of the moon just so no bugs or anything can get in. Yeah, you gotta come back way more. Thank goodness for this little vent, it's getting hot in here. I always get the sh jobs. I'd like to see you in here right now. I'd like to see you try to hang this. Camera's fogging up. It's getting pretty hot in here. Oh my God. We should have put a bigger moon on this. You need to shim faster. You can see he's just getting the shims installed. That way he can start attaching the hinges on the door out there. It looks beautiful outside. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so sweaty. <laughs> can you hold, hold it right there? Okay. Oh shit, it fell. <laughs> You'd think I'd be stronger since I have the strength of a woman and a small baby, but... <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Hold on. What? Where are you going? Right Y'all, I think this has been his plan all along. <laughs> what the hell are you doing out there? You going for a walk? The next half of this video is just gonna all be from <laughs> the view of this crescent moon. <laughs> oh, what? Here. Oh hell no! You left something in here that you needed, and all the screws. <laughs> and you just got the door perfect. Oh my god, Spencer, babe. We really should have built a window. Can you pass me screws through the bottom? Are you serious? Oh, uh, you should be you through that crack. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. 
the, the hole at the bottom isn't quite big enough. All right, all right, I'll try. Careful, you don't mess up the door. All right, here's two screws. All right, do you need anything else? Are you sure? <laughs> On the bright side, pretty sure any toxins are leaving my body. I really hope these hinges work. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh my god. What'd you do? Oh my god. Talk to me! So you just screwed it into the totally wrong spot? Well, I drilled a hole in the totally wrong So now we have a random hole in our cedar? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like this is how the guy in Shawshank Redemption must have felt. Alright, try to push it. Go in there for 30 minutes. I'm gonna shut the door and you can't come out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's warm in here. Oh, let's shut the door. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. Once you start sweating, I'll let you out. <laughs> So the pump house is all ready to have everything installed in it, but we actually have a bunch of rain on the forecast, which we're very happy about. But what we need to do now is the pipe that goes from the tanks into the pump house, what we're going to do is we're just gonna throw a ball valve on there that we have, do that, and then pause on the pump house for a little bit, and then go back over to the tanks and start building the overflow because we haven't done that yet. So just in case we somehow get like tons of rain, we will be prepared for it. <laughs> coming. I know you can't tell on camera, but it's already sprinkling and yeah, we're supposed to get a ton of rain. So I'm going to go ahead and go in the house and shut some of our windows so we don't have a ton of water getting inside. <laughs> All right, Spencer, where are you? <laughs> so while I'm in here, I might as well show you guys. So this room up in the front, next to the front door, the second bedroom that we said before was the guest bedroom. Yes, it is the baby room. And we knew that then, but I couldn't say it yet. So 
this will be the baby's room. All right, now that the whole overflow is done, what we were gonna start doing was hooking everything up inside of the pump house, but we are waiting on our filtration system to still get here. It should be here very soon, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and just continue working on the batch water heater. You guys saw the whole frame that Spencer built, so we're gonna go ahead and just get that connected to the concrete slab. batch water heater we just went ahead and used all the leftover zip from the pump house and there's a couple reasons why we decided to use the zip is one obviously for waterproofing reasons but two is for air sealing now with air sealing the reason why we want it to be airtight is because you want to trap the heat in there as long as possible so not only you want good amount of insulation but you also want to air seal so it can't it has less chance to escape yeah the hotter it is inside of the batch water heater the hotter that water will be and the more efficient the whole system will be so now that all the sheathing is done we're going to go ahead and start on the rain screen just like every other part of our house and uh, pump house and then we're going to also do a cedar siding to match the pump house Yes, and once the batch water heater is done, this tank will give us naturally hot water from the sun without using any electricity or gas. Pretty damn cool. <laughs> Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling let my fingers walk over your head We got nothing to be scared of I'd rather be with you than by myself Now always in your head 